Hello and welcome to the video on x-rays. In this video we will explore characteristic and continuous x-rays. X-rays are a form of electromagnetic waves, just like visible light, radio waves, and microwaves. In the electromagnetic spectrum, X-rays have higher energy than visible light but lower energy than gamma rays, making them the second most energetic type of radiation in the spectrum. There are two main types of X-rays, characteristic X-rays and continuous X-rays. Characteristic X-rays are produced when high-energy electrons collide with atoms in a target material. These collisions knock out the inner shell electrons of their orbits, creating vacancies or holes in the inner shells. To fill these vacancies, electrons from outer shells jump in, and in the process, they release energy in the form of X-rays. When an electron from the L shell jumps to the K shell, it emits a characteristic X-ray known as K-alpha. Similarly, Transitions from the M and N shells result in K-beta and K-gamma X-rays, respectively. The probability of a transition from one shell to another depends on the proximity of the shells, so transitions from neighboring shells are more likely than transitions from farther away shells. The emitted wavelengths of these X-rays are unique to each element. Therefore, they are called characteristic X-rays because they serve as fingerprints for identifying the elements present in a sample. On the other hand, continuous X-rays have a continuous range of frequencies or energies. They are produced when high-energy electrons interact with target atoms, but instead of causing inner shell ionization, they are slowed down and deviated from their original paths by the nucleus of the target atoms. During this deceleration process, the electrons lose energy, and this energy loss is emitted as continuous X-rays. The energy of the emitted X-rays depends on the energy of the bombarding electrons, and by adjusting the energy of the electrons, you can obtain X-rays of different frequencies or energies. We hope you would have learned something new. Thanks for watching.